Hey friends, welcome to the very last day of March. Although I heard someone say the other day that, that they cannot remember a time when it wasn't March because it's just been one of those months. Um, mainly because of the threat and because of the, the difficulty it's been. But I hope that we remember this month because of the opportunity that we had to reestablish some things as it relates to our relationship with God. I mean, I think this is an amazing opportunity specifically to reestablish trust and what is the foundation of our life, what w runs our life, what guides our life, what directs our life. And um, the wisest person ever in, in Proverbs 3, this is a very famous passage, it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In other words, th this has this, this idea of just trusting him fully. In fact, that word lean on your own understanding, that word lean means to be propped up by your own understanding. Don't be propped up. Don't has don't have as your foundation what you think. And uh, this season has stripped some of that away. Uh, we're, we're left with few options. And so this is an opportunity to say, okay, and I, I'm going to trust in him. I, I'm not just going to bring him in on the recovery plan. I mean, sometimes we do that. Like God's kind of like our backup. Like I'm going to go do what I know to do. And when it doesn't work out, I'm going to invite God in on to, you know, to kind of clean up my mess. And, and I think this is an opportunity. Now I'm going to invite you to do this, to, to get him in on the, the blueprint, get him in on the strategy, get him in on the very beginning. Say, no, this is, I'm going to, in, I'm going to trust in him. I'm not going to lean on anything else. He's not just going to be my plan B. He's going to be my plan A. So to trust in him with all your heart, do not lean on your own understanding. And it says this in all your ways. So again, you know, maybe we've trusted trusted him in certain things, but we haven't trusted him in other ways. And uh, an obvious one may be the economy, maybe our livelihood, it may be how we make a living, or it could even be our own health. I mean, you know, we, we are dependent upon. Th there's some things about our health that we cannot control. I mean, we can do our best, but you know, we can't control what other people do, and so, and we can't control the economy. Uh, we can't control commerce. Uh, so we're, we're kind of left without options. So it's again, it's an opportunity to trust him, not just in some ways, but in all of our ways. And then it says, and then he will make your path straight. And I think there's not a person on the planet who, do, who doesn't want an answer to the question, when is this going to end? You know, like, you know, show us the way forward. And the truth is nobody knows. Nobody knows where this is going. And we have some thoughts and some ideas and some projections. But the truth is nobody really knows. And we want the direction part, but God's saying, look, before you're going to get direction from me, I need you to do something. And that is, I need you to trust. And so this is an opportunity to submit all of our hopes, dreams to him, because before he gives us direction, he invites us to submit. So submission to God always, 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 and especially in the season, precedes direction from God. So here's the invitation. The invitation is to come back to him and say, okay, not just in some of my ways, but in all my ways, I'm going to trust you. I'm not going to lean on me. I'm not going to be propped up by what I know. I'm not just going to bring you back. I'm not just going to bring you in when I need help, when I need someone to clean up my mess. I'm going to get you in on the blueprint of my life. And when you do that, it says that he's going to make, he's going to direct your path. The literal translation or literally means he's going to make your path obvious. So the invitation is to, to trust in him to trust in him in ways that you never have. And you're going to get a lot of things, not just direction. You're going to get peace. You're going to get joy. You're going to get a lot of other things that are going to add it to your life. This is going to be a month to remember, but may we remember it for that season where we trusted in God in ways. It, this was a season that propelled us to trust in God, God in ways that we never had before. I love you guys. We'll see you soon.